Hey everyone, this is the Geeky Panda here on the Geeky Panda Blog Variety Guys with actually a video commentary. The gameplay footage we have here is Halo 4. It's actually one of my older Halo 4 footages. I do know it's, I am waiting for a workaround with the PlayStation 4 so I can, can record gameplay footage off of it more. But in the meantime, I'm going to have to go through my old video clips on the Xbox 360 and also Wii U content. So, overall, let's get to this, shall we? Now... One of my most favorite things, I've actually been reminiscing a lot lately, and hold on, a cup of water. Gotta love them water. I've been reminiscing a lot, and I really like, I really miss watching some of the old, some of the older anime series that I grew up with. Like, one of the first things that actually popped in my mind is Toonami. And for those, you know, for, for my generation, you know, for my generation and the other older generations out there who, you know, maybe some younger ones will know about this, but Toonami was one of the best things that could have ever happened to you. Like, it originally started in 1997, and then it just grew and grew and grew and became one of the best things that ever happened on the TV network. You had some excellent shows, both, you know, homegrown, you know, including, I loved, you know, Courage the Cowardly Dog, I, I extremely enjoyed Samurai Jack, that, that to me is like one of the best TV shows. They also show, you know, Batman the Animated Series, Justice League, and all that stuff, but one of the things about this is they show anime, and it was like, you stayed up late night throughout the week, with the exception of Sunday, and especially on Saturday, just watching all these great anime series. I've been like reminiscing so much now. It's like, it's not even funny. Like, I just rewatched Trigun. Excuse me. Trigun Badland Rumbles movie, and then I started watching the Trigun series. And oh my god, I've been having some like real bad, you know. Like. It's such a weird feeling that it just brought me back to the days where I was a teenager in my in the other house in my room watching TV late at night and I kept the volume low so my you know hopefully my parents wouldn't hear and then they say oh go to sleep you got school and I'm like damn it you know I stayed up late nights for this like on Saturday it was actually you know it's a Saturday. So, you know, I could stay up late night as I want, but on the weekdays, I was kind of like trying to be sneaky ninja, to try to be like, a, a get up close to my TV so I can just hear it, but not it be too loud for my parents to wake up to, and then I get in trouble. So, one of the most notable things about Toonami is they, again, they showed a lot of anime. You had Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, which were two of the most best things that ever happened to the anime industry. They also, not even that, they had stuff like, I, you know, Outlaw Star, which is a great anime series on its own right. Cowboy Bebop, which I fell in love with. Like, the first time I watched Cowboy Bebop, it was so crazy, and I have so much to thank for, for Toonami. Like, other things that I got introduced with is, I got introduced to Trigun. I remember when Fully Cooley came out, and me and my uh, good, really good friend at the time, me and him were like, holy, sh holy shit, this anime series is awesome. And then we realized it was like only six episodes, and then it was like done. I'm like, wait, really? Six episodes, that's it? Uh, uh, you, you, you serious now? Like, it was crazy. I remember they did show like some Gundams, uh, some Gundam series on there. They showed the Daft Punk Interstellar five five uh, five 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 five. five you know, but overall it was just something to watch. And as time, you know, as we all get older, and as time progressed, you know, so did Toonami. You know, Toonami had some new shows on there, but. Gradually, the anime stopped coming. It, the anime stopped, you know, coming in. There wasn't as much anime series on there. They were actually trying to go for their own shows more. And eventually, by I forgot when, I want to say 2007, things started going bad. And after that, when Toonami died, and yes, that royally sucked. It was one of the worst feelings ever, that something that you grew up with so much, that you were so excited for, it was like, gone. And one of the most iconic hosts of Toonami is Tom, which is voiced by Steve Bloom, who is also one of the most iconic voice actors in the anime industry, because, you know, one of his most notable things that he did is, you know, Spike Spiegel from Cowboy Bebop, Mugen from Samurai Champloo, and some other, uh, he was also in Big O as well, playing the main character, and some other things. And, you know, to, 
it, it, like we grew up with Tom. We grew up with Tom and Tsunami. That's that's the deal. Like with with the newer anime generate with the newer anime fan generations out there, I can like you know me we can we can talk and stuff. And when, when it comes to Tsunami, like I know Tsunami's back again, but it's just like I I I, I can't watch it. I honestly cannot watch Toonami. I wish I can. Because I don't have cable in my room. My room has the internet modem. I'm thinking of maybe trying to get a workaround, maybe. But overall, I can't watch Toonami. And even then, the only time, the last time I watched it was during that April Fool's Day thing they did back in 2012. And I was like, <gasps> what? <laughs> so, because again, this is like the last thing, like they ended it, I think, yeah, 2008. You know, September 20th, 2008, that's when Toonami died. That's when it, like, officially dead. And, you know, Tom was, like, saying all this and stuff, like, about saying goodbye. And then the last thing he said was bang, in reference to Spike Spiegel's Cowboy Bebop. Like, that was literally what Spike said, one of the last things he said in the end of the series. And it was kind of like a nice send-off. But man, when this April Fool's Day thing came out, I was like, holy crap, I'm back, 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 I'm back. Like, I was so, like, hyped up, like, holy shit, it's back! It was awesome to see it again. They had, like, I know there was, like, this huge, huge thing, a push of people wanting Toonami to come back. Ever since it ended, people wanted to, Tom and Toonami to come back. They wanted all these great shows to come back, you know, all the anime, all the little things they did on there, it was just, we missed it. And I was, I found myself extre extremely lucky to be, to grow up with, to grow up with it, you know, to see it go through, you know, start up, hit its height, and then just fall apart, and then just get revived again. And so far, they've been like, they seem to be doing good, they've been showing like anime movies, on Adult Swim and all that stuff, like, for me, you know, if I were to say something to the newer generation of anime fans out there, watch Toonami, you know, it is a great source, they show some new anime series, they show some older ones that you might just, you know, you might like, like, I, it, it's so hard for me to describe to newer anime fans out there who hasn't watched Toonami, it's like, because it's one of those things, like, oh, you had, you know, you can stream it, you can stream anime easily nowadays with, you know, the advent of the internet, but back then, we, you know, when the internet was still, like, getting there, you know, it wasn't as established. We had Toonami. Toonami was our anime. Even then, when the internet got a lot better, we still had Toonami. Like, it was there. I remember, you know, again, like, late night gaming, I still had the TV on, you know. And when, as the anime went on, you know, I'd play some video games or I'd just go to, you know, i just go look at the screen, you know, go watch the TV. It, it was on. Again, it's, again you know, I, I'm glad that it's back. And... When I was at an anime convention, uh, Anime Boston, it, 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 we were we actually on Saturday, on Saturday night we were actually watching Toonami, uh, uh, Toonami and Adult Swim late night, and we were like all like reminiscing like, whoa, this is uh, this is kind of <laughs> this is when we realized it's like like that other video I did with the younger generation of anime concours that they like that we're getting older like. This like they showed one of the first few episodes of Naruto on there, and we were like, "Whoa!" <laughs> so again, you know, it's just back me. It's just I, I just love it. it. Just brings me back to being a teenager, right there, sitting, you know, sitting on the floor, sitting on my, or laying on my bed, just watching this with my by myself with friends, or you know, a girlfriend. So you know, it's it's a nice, great feeling. So. Um, let me, you know, again, it was kind of sad when Tsunami died, but now they're back. I, I wish I could see it, but I need a cable box in my room. I'll try to figure something out. Maybe after I move, I'll start picking it up again. But it's just I've been too busy with work and life, you know. But I still try to find time to geek out. So, again, I hope you guys like my video here. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. For Friends of the Panda, I would recommend Time of Force Anubis from She's Lost Control .net. Check his Check his website out. And also, check out his podcast... As those guys talk about some pretty interesting stuff in the geeky world. So, again, hope you guys like my video. Stay tuned for some future videos coming out soon. So, this is the Geeky Panda here on the Geeky Panda Blog. Sending out to remember, stay geeky, my friends.